Getting started right now. And both are live. Why does that always pop up? I wish that wouldn't pop up. Okay. Hey guys, this is Judea Alex coming to you live from Comic Emporium. This is the CETV live show coming to you every single week. Hey Brady, uh, we are a... Uh, you know, uh, we we do this directly from the store, and today's a busy day, actually. Uh, we had a line at the door at 10 o'clock this morning um, because of the new Pokemon Go TCG set that released. Uh, I have almost sold everything. I've got, I believe I've counted 14 more ETBs left, uh, one of the Radiant EV boxes, and one of the team mystic boxes left and then i still have six of the alolan executor boxes so if you're wanting to get those I, i've been telling everybody since yesterday when they came in do not try to wait on this you want to come on in and get these if you wait until six o'clock this afternoon you're not going to get one um i'm sorry but it's just it was a limited supply it's like this the celebrations drop that they did in october where there was just such a limited uh, supply that they released for everybody. So that's uh, that's something for you to come and get. I still have plenty. If you want me to hold something for you, uh, if, you know, you can always pay us through PayPal, and then I'll put it behind the counter for you until you get here. Uh, so then let's see what else we got today. So that was the Pokemon Go release. Uh, it's a, a big release, and it's a limited release. I don't have any of the Premier Pokeball uh, 10s or the Mini 10s. Those will be on the next wave uh, coming to us. So there's that. We are still Pokemon leaguing it up every single Saturday from 10 until 2. Uh, I think last Saturday the rain limited our numbers because we only had uh, we had four people show for that. Uh, but, uh, I mean, we've got a new set. So if you're looking to trade for stuff, this will be a good Saturday to come on in, even if it's raining because we're going to have people here doing that. Some of the, let's see, we've had two good pulls so far. Uh, somebody bought one of the ETBs and opened it here. You know how much I love that. Uh, I like to actually, yeah, I'm addicted to opening the packs myself, but uh, we had the secret rare Dragonite, the rainbow Dragonite uh, was pulled here. And the there, even though it's not like worth a lot, it's a cool concept for a card. The peelable ditto uh, that has like Bidoof on the front, that was pulled here, pretty neat. Uh, we had a, uh, so moving on from Pokemon, we have Pokemon. So come and get them while supplies last. There's no limit on it. You just got to get here. The limit is how much stock I have. Uh, we had uh, somebody bring in comics this morning, and I have another first appearance of General Grievous, the Star Wars Clone Wars free comic book day uh, from 2004 that uh, we have that on the wall right now. So if you were wanting to get the first appearance of General Grievous, I've got one, and it's in good shape too. Then let's see, we had uh, Gundams come in. So we had a bunch of, other than Unicorn, we had like Heavy Arms, Death Scythe, that stuff. Uh, those came in, Leisner came in. A um, couple of other, the from like Master Grade and up, uh, Gundams are here. And then we had a bunch of swords come in. Now, this is what I want to show you. So um, I like our Forge Master in Georgia. They're in Dallas. They're based out of Dallas, Georgia. And they send me the greatest, coolest stuff. Some of it is extremely decorative. Like um, there's the, we have a Sun Tzu's Art of War curved dagger. The, the, the sheath on it is metal. It looks really good. It's got a lot of uh, design to it. And it comes with a the like um, what do you call it table stand the, that you can actually rest the dagger on. It's it's a very good piece. But from Sword Art Online, I have the Dark Repulsor, and I also have the Dark Elucidator. Uh, these are on the shelf right now. Very very cool, uh, and um, very worth it if you're a fan of Sword Art Online. We also picked up another Sword of Omens from Thundercats, and we also have the Skyward Sword version of the Master Sword back on the shelf, along with two of the Hylian Shields. So we have the uh, Shadow Hylian Shield and then the uh, standard Hylian Shield from Breath of the Wild. So those are here if you're looking to collect those. Then we've uh, we restocked on dice. We got a bunch of the new mini Chessex dice. 
We also received uh, new Dragon Shield sleeves. Uh, if you were wanting to get Lightning sleeves or Lagoon sleeves, uh, any of that, we've got those back on the shelf as well. So what else was there this week? Oh, guys, if you did not pick up the hard cover, hard cover copy of The Last Ronin that put all five comics together in one book, you are missing out because that was a fantastic series. If that was, uh, and, and you can all get them all in one set where you can actually read through. Uh, it, it's such a good series and it, it it's left open so that there might be a sequel to it because... Anyways, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Read the comics, and you will definitely love it. Now, let's talk about this coming week. We are in, actually, we're in July, right? Today is the 1st of July. So we have a bunch of uh, events coming up. We will have our um, premiere at uh, the Grand for Thor Love and Thunder. That's going to be this coming Friday, so not today, but a week from now. We're going to be there from 5 p.m. till 10 p.m., uh, if you come in a comic costume, so a comic-inspired costume, Deadpool, Thor, you know, anything comic-inspired, and you come and hang out with me at the the display that we're going to have for like 30 minutes to just help me pass out a bunch of our free comics, then I will give you a movie ticket, and you can use that then, or you can hold on to it and go, come another day. We'll have plenty, uh, and we're expecting, uh, let's see, we have the... Uh, Chimichanga Talk with Deadpool, their group's going to be there. We'll have uh, Cosplayers with a Cause uh, are going to try to be there as well. And uh, we'll have, of course, ourselves will be there. And yeah, so that's going to be this coming Friday again. That's going to be July 8th from 5 till 10 p.m. Then we'll have our intro to Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition uh, this month. I believe it was on the 16th, if I remember correctly. And that one, we still have a couple of chairs open. We have, uh, we've already got four people signed up, so we have two more chairs open. If you have not done this yet and you just want to get an, an idea of what 5th edition is like, then come and check that out uh, on uh, the 16th. Uh, you can call me, message me through any of our socials, and I'll, uh, I'll put your name on the list to guarantee you a seat. If you show up the day of expecting there to be a seat, that might not happen because I, I give priority to people who actually sign up and say, yes, I'll definitely be there. Now, then uh, there was going to be a watch party. So let's talk about this because if you missed it, uh, we had this idea of doing a, a Thor watch party on the Thursday, this coming Thursday, the 7th, where we were going to watch all three Thor movies. I was just enlightened that we cannot do that because we didn't have a license for those movies to show in a public space, which is kind of weird because if you think about it, uh, basically any store ever, barbershop, uh, mechanic, if they've got a TV on and there is a possibility that somebody, uh, a customer can see it, uh, you're supposed to have a license to show whatever is being shown. However... I did get in touch with a friend of mine who does actually uh, help out with the licensing of that. And she informed me that uh, if I had just contacted her a week earlier, I could have gotten a license for it, no problem. And so that's my little secret. I will definitely be doing some watch parties here in the future, and she's going to help me out with that. We are trying very hard to definitely be the first to do everything. Uh, it's one of my big pushes. Like I told you this year, I really want to get Comic Emporium involved in the community. And that's what we've done. We are continuing to do that. So uh, watch parties, be watching for them because I'm going to get some and we're going to do them here. Uh, then let's see. I think that's about everything I can think of right this moment. Oh, uh, we did get a cool couple of minis. Phone's ringing. Must be almost time to go. Um, hold on. There we go. Okay. So uh, we actually have, uh, yesterday we got two really cool models in, uh, or miniature models in. It is the adult silver dragon. So if you've got like the adult, adult gold dragon or any of those, it's that same type of model. But this time they sent us one that was unpainted and one that was painted. Uh, they look really, really cool. I've never, because when I think silver dragon, I think like dragon lance, like bright silver dragon, like Argent. But this one is like that freshly mined silver color. Very, very cool. Very, it's, it's worth a look. Even if you don't you know, buy the, the big minis and stuff, if you just want to see a really cool dragon miniature, come by and take a look at this because this is really cool. 
then yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we still have Warhammer happening every Wednesday here from uh, 5 until 10 p.m. Uh, so if you want to learn how to play, if you want to get some tips on painting, if you just want to watch people doing this so that you can kind of get a feel for it, this group is one of the friendliest groups that you'll ever find. They uh, love to teach new players the hobbies. So definitely stop by any Wednesday between 5 and 10 p.m. They'll be here. And uh, let's see, that's pretty much it. Oh, I told Scott that I would mention this, and I didn't forget, Scott. Uh, uh, I've got a, a couple of people who want to play uh, chess, just regular chess, and they'd like to come and play here. You know, we have the tables open for you guys. So if anybody wants to just come and play chess for a little while, just give me a, a, a shout out. Give me a message on anything. Call me something. Tell me a good time, and I'll reach out to those people who want to play, and we'll get some people to actually come up here, and you guys can play chess. Uh, you can play 3D chess. You can play whatever. But we have some people who just want to get some board gaming going on, and uh, I'd like to see that uh, as well. So I think that's about all the time I've got for today. I wish I had more so I could talk more about the cool stuff we've got coming on. But real quick, we did receive a restock on Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. So if you were waiting on that, it's here. We've got a bunch of new stuff coming in, some new Mysterium stuff. Uh, wizard Chess. Yes, exactly right. Let's play some Wizard Chess. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to take off, and you guys come and see me. We'll talk it out. Uh, we'll nerd out on all kinds of cool stuff. This is your DM Alex coming to you live once more from the CETV live show at Comic Emporium. And I will see everybody here hopefully shortly.